Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mr. Money1235 back here yet again for another album review. Megan Trainer, Title. This album right here explains one thing to me. This chick would be a horrible girlfriend. Every single song on this album is about some weird personality type that she likes in a guy or what she expects a guy to do for her. And it's just like, you are one controlling just like self-centered little bitch, i tell you right now. Now I get it, I get it. This album is not for me. This album is not for men in general. No man will get this. No man will understand this album, okay? This is just a personal opinion that I have with some of the lyrics on this album that she seems to be a little bit of a... I don't know, the song 3AM is all about her texting some guy when she's hanging out with her friends and she's wasted and not getting a text back from this dude or whatever like that within like an hour of them texting back and forth and I, I don't I don't know that that shit just it grinds my gears it grinds my gears I don't like that whole fucking like uh, you gotta do this shit type of mentality that some women have the song dear future husband is basically just like a big checklist going down the line you know here's some things you need to know about me there's no sense in disagreeing with me, I'm always right, you know, type of shit like that. Ugh. The song Bang Dim Sticks is about how she wants to fuck drummers. Who care? I don't give a shit! I don't care! I don't care! Besides the lyrics on this thing and the obvious turn towards women that this thing obviously has going for it, women power, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, I really enjoy the music on this thing. <laughs> Uh, I kind of enjoy this whole, like, 50s thing that she's got going on this record. I mean, take the track, for example, Close Your Eyes. This song could be given to any black Motown group from the 50s, and they could perform this thing. It sounds like, uh, my girl, my girl. You know, it sounds just like that. I think any Motown group from the 50s could pull off this song. I'm not even kidding. It sounds really cool. There's some elements of, like, doo-wop going on also in the main single from this thing, all about that bass, which, again, is a song that I don't really like. I don't really like the message of this thing. I mean, like, I don't know. I get the whole, like, self-positive body image. You know, some people, you know, they, they're fat and they're beautiful. They love themselves like that. And you know what? More power to you. I mean, I know that there's going to be some people out there who just demonize you because of your fatness or whatever the hell. And, um... You know, more power to you, but I don't know. I just, uh, the skinny bitches line. Is she just implying that, that you sound kind of jealous? You sound a little jealous in that line. I don't know. John Legend sounds pretty good also on the track, like I'm going to lose you, honestly. Um, that song in general is actually not too bad. It's kind of sweet. It kind of has a cool melody to it. Altogether, this is just a huge pop album that kind of throws back once again to a, to a 50s type of era and just has a bunch of lyrics about, you know, women things. So if that sounds like fun to you, then go for it. But I know this isn't my target audience, so I feel like I'm being a little bit harsh on this thing. Like, I like the music in it. I really enjoy the throwback, because I myself really enjoy 50s music. So, I mean, I'm kind of stuck here. I hate the lyrics. The girl can sing. That's another thing. She can sing. She's got some pipes on her. The first song on this part, the best part, the interlude, the first track on here, her vocals are shining on this track. Okay, it sounds really good. It's a great way to be in this album. She's got great singing talent. She's got a great style going for her. I just don't really dig the lyrics of this album, and I can't really fault it too much for that. I don't know. Check it out for the music at least. This is just my opinion. This album is just not for me. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Just make your own opinion about it. Go listen to it. It's, um, listen to it for the music, at least. I mean, you, you might get a little bit of a, you know, bob your head. It's a fun type of feeling with it, so whatever. Mr. Money 1, 2, 3, 5. I'll see you guys later.